Welcome friends to this lecture in business mathematics and statistics. Myself, Professor Esam Chintale from our Science and Commerce College, Manmar, going to talk about population and sample. It is one of the basic concept of statistics. Statistics is a collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of numerical data. It is a branch of mathematics that is also used in the various disciplines such as accounting, economics, management, ethics, finance, psychology, sociology, etc. It has wide scope in economics, management, science and industry. The scope of statistics in economics. Statistical analysis is immensely useful in the solution of a variety of economic problems such as production, consumption, distribution, etc. For example, an analysis of data on consumption may reveal the pattern of consumption of various commodities by different sections of society. Data on prices, wages, consumption, saving and investment, etc. are vital in formulating various economic policies. Likewise, data on national income and wealth are useful in formulating policies for reducing disparities of income. Use of statistics in economics has led to the formulation of several economic laws such as interest law, consumption, law of income, distribution, etc. Statistical tools of index numbers, time series analysis, regression, etc. are vital in economic planning. For instance, the consumer price index is used for grant of dearness allowance or bonus of workers. Demand forecasting could also be made by using time series analysis for testing various economic hypotheses, statistical data is now being increasingly used. You can observe this in the picture. We showed a sustainable de development goals in economics using statistics. Scope of statistics in management sciences. With the growing size and increasing competition, the activities of modern business enterprises are becoming more complex and demanding. The separation of ownership and management in the case of big enterprises has resulted in the emergence of professional management. The success of the managerial decision making depends upon the timely availability of relevant information, much of which comes from statistical data. Statistical methods are now widely applied in the market and production research, investment policies, quality control of manufactured products, economic forecasting, auditing, and many other fields. It can be shown in this picture how the statistics is used in the management science. Scope of statistics in industry for smooth functioning of industry makes Use of statistics at several places such as administration, planning, production, growth, and development. Sampling methods are a powerful tool for market research. Sampling is required to be used because of its several advantages. In many industrial statistical quality control division is separately operating. Moreover, purchased goods or non-finished goods are inspected using accepted sampling plans of various types. Nowadays, ISO 9000 makes use of statistics to the large extent. Newly installed machinery is tested for its performance using statistical methods. A businessman having a good knowledge of statistics can develop business very well. It can be shown in this picture how the statistics is used in the various fields of industry. Collection, population, and sample. Population or the universe in statistics means totality of the atoms under study. Thus, the population or the universe is a group to which the results of the study are intended to apply. A population is always all the individual's atoms who process certain characteristics or set of characteristics 
according to the purpose of the survey. A sample refers to a group or section of the population from which information is to be obtained. A good sample is a so-called representative sample. It is generally smaller than the population and it is capable of providing reasonably accurate information about the population at a much lower cost and shorter time. Population is the collection of all individuals or atoms under consideration in statistical study. It may contain finite or infinite elements. Accordingly, it is called as finite or infinite population. Sample is the part of population from which the information is to be obtained. To study the nature or characteristics of some group of people, it has to be study the set of some people from that group. It is called a sample. Means it is a sample of people from population of people. To taste the blood of some person, the pathologist takes some sample of blood from its body. To taste the fat in the meal, some sample of meal has been tested with the machine. To taste the quality of grain in a store, samples of grain are systematically arranged at the counter of that store. Collection of data. Mainly there are two types of data, qualitative and quantitative data. Data in which variables allow for classification of individuals based on some attribute or characteristics is called as qualitative data. Data in which variables provide numerical measures of individuals is called as quantitative data. There are so many methods of collection of data. One of which is observation. By observing the elements related to the topic of research, we can collect the data related to that topic. By distributing the questionnaire to the persons related to the topic of research, we can collect the information from that person related to that topic of research. By taking the interview of the person related to the topic of research, we can also collect the information from that person for the further study. By discussing the topic with the related person, we can also collect the information from that person which is useful to research that topic. If you like this video, please click on the like, share this video and subscribe the channel for the further alerts. Thank you.